Hello, everyone, and welcome to the United Wrestling Network. I'm David Marquez. Now, as you can see, I'm holding the Heritage Championship that was recently held by Kevin Martinson. Now, the reason I say that is because he sent this back to the office. I wanted to put this championship into hiatus, but he refused and said it's not fair. The championship should whoa, go Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ziggy Dice. Dave, Dave. You know what's not fair, Dave? What's not fair? Life's not fair. But I'm sitting here thinking and just happened to be walking by and I, I thought of the perfect man to hold on to the championship in the meantime. What do you mean in the meantime? I mean, this man is, is television. This man is, a, is, a, is championship material, Dave. I'm so lost. Here, fix that for you. That man is outlandish Zicky Dice. But you already have a championship. Why do, you, why do you need this? This is mine now. What do you mean it's yours? What are you going to do about it, Dave? It says Kevin Martinson right there. Do? It doesn't say Kevin Martinson anymore. It says outlandish Zicky Dice. And there's not a damn thing that you or anyone here can do about it. What do you want to do, Dave? You want to hit me? Hit me, Dave. Hit me, Dave. Hit me. I do what I want around here. Have a problem with it? Come and get it. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first a combined weight of 395 pounds, the team of AJ Mana and Fidel Bravo! Still reeling from the history made last week, Zicky Dice becoming the television champion. But I mean, you talk about it, it's been a reunion. I got James Morgan main event here in the booth again. Fidel Bravo in quite some time, but we'll see what he has to offer here with his partner, A.J. Mana. Keeping up with the Samoan shooter, we kick things off with tag team action. And introducing opponents at a combined weight of 355 pounds, top notch, Lucas Riley and Matt Trugi, Tom Kubrick, the Rusty Crew. Rusty Crew. Impressed me in recent tag team action. Their debut as a team in the United Wrestling Network got a victory over uh, Santana and Koto Hero. And I mean, man, when it comes to tandem offense, these guys put on an absolute clinic. Wait till you get a load of these guys, James. As long as the wrestling isn't crusty, then hey, I'm looking forward to this. Well, with a name like the Krusty Crew, you would think they would hail from, I don't know, maybe Bikini Bottom, but in my estimation, they have the makings to be at the very top of the tag team division. Lucas Riley, Dom Kubrick, taking on Fidel Bravo and AJ Mana. And that's a, uh, that's a tough opposition in its own right. Again, Fidel Bravo, one of the great veterans of the United Wrestling Network in this program. Dates all way back. Well, that's the thing, the, the veteran status, you know, the many, many hours on the road, the many, many matches, that has to definitely count for something. All right, looks like it's going to be Lucas Riley and the Samoan shooter, AJ Mana. Mana has been training with the likes of uh, professional MMA fighter, Jake the Barbabian Babian. Uh, under the tutelage of the likes of Antonio McKee and A.J. McKee of, of uh, Bellator fame. So this guy's got a lot of weapons in his arsenal. He can, he can take you apart. And there you see a change in levels nicely done and a big takedown. No, that that's, I mean, just looking at him, he's a specimen of a man, but definitely be able to see him get down on the mat like that. And we'll see what else can happen tonight. And Mana's been impressive in the United Wrestling Network for quite some time now. You know, had a, had a really... Uh, impressive performance at the Red Carpet Rumble years ago, the one that uh, Golden Boy Jordan Clearwater ended up winning. But you can see Mana, the Samoan shooter, taking a body part here and really slowing down the pace of the Krusty Crew, which really takes them out of their game plan, James. Really, and that's if when it comes down to it, he, he's being smart about it because he already he definitely has done his homework. Wow, nice transition with the key lock though in his own right. There is. Uh, Lucas Riley, but now you got that body lock, and I'll tell you, Mana would rather throw you than know you. 
Is he gonna go for the cover? No, looking to transition to try and take the back. Maybe rear naked choke time, who knows? There's definitely the MMA training coming into light here. It sure is, but look at this, out the back door. Oh man, pulling that rip cord and taking Mana down. That tied to turn real quick. Now he's picking a, <laughs> he's picking apart a body part there and I think really what he needs to do is he needs to tag out because that, he's got taken quite a beating so far from AJ Mana. Yeah, I don't, you, if, if you're Lucas Riley or Dom Kubrick, you don't want this fight to be in the phone booth with AJ Mana. This is what you gotta do, you gotta stick a move, nice double team into the drop kick by Kubrick who checks in and they make the tag, they stay fresh. Thus far, the Samoan shooter has been isolated for his team. We haven't seen Fidel Bravo check in yet. You definitely don't want Fidel Bravo to be checking in at all. That's a crusty crew here, really goes it down. Into the cover, and Fidel Bravo, yeah, it's been a while since we've seen him. Saw him instrumental uh, at one point in the uh, Golden Opportunity Tournament. Qualifying action, and uh, look out here though, again, look at that, U utilizing, wherever the head goes, the body goes, and in that case, it was down. <laughs> this, my goodness. Incredible maneuver. Wheelbarrow action there, and the elbow drop, They're all over the place. They're being, they're definitely being smart about this. Tag in, tag out, tag in, tag out as much as they can. They really are tag team specialists. But Fidel right. Bravo has other news here. And Just about took his head off with that clothesline. That allows the Samoan shooter to catch with the big shot. AJ Mana in control, looking for the cover. And we'll be back with more tag team action right after this. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Welcome back, everybody. Tag team action, and now finally we see some continuity here. Although you did see Fidel Bravo get involved on the outside earlier, and that really changed the tide of this matchup. It sure did. And now, right now, that this is the first time Fidel Bravo is legal in this match. Bravo, no stranger in his time in the United Wrestling Network to running with a pack. We think back to his time in La Revolution. Here's the uh, cover. And, uh, and, and Bravo is fresh in there, and he is, you know, a wily veteran. And he will know the tactics to slow down this explosive team. And that's exactly, because Fidel Bravo, in his own right, can be explosive and fast. But really, he needs, needs to uh, turn the tide here and, and keep these uh, Crusty Crew guys uh, down the deck. Making him eat defeat there, so to speak, was Lucas looking for the tag. So close and yet so far, James. Well, hey, you tagged him in, so let's go. Well, he's getting a couple shots in there first. And the Samoan shooter has been very physical and has been dominant. He's able to use that size and strength advantage thus far. Look at that. 
swinging, clubbing forearm that Thunderlips would be proud of into the cover. Only a count of two. Zip to say no, no, not yet for the meatball. <laughs> well done. Tag is made here, and I tell you, for my money, this is the first time teaming of Fidel Bravo and AJ and Lana, but they are functioning well as a team thus far. Nice snap suplex there by Fidel. Uh-oh, maybe taking a little too much time though, James. Yeah, that's, it goes back to the, uh, Fidel Bravo, but you know, Fidel Bravo, he knows what he's doing for his, for, for his approach, but definitely, these two have definitely been a great uh, a tag team, like, almost as if they've really been tagging for a long time. Well, the jawbreaker and now hanging Mon out to try the leapfrog. Tag is made. And here comes Lucas back in there. Bad. Digging way down deep with that European uppercut here. Pace quickens, and I think that favors the crew. Man, look at this guy go, That's James. Incredible. <laughs> oh. That's incredible. But what he needs to do is he needs to focus back on Fidel Bravo. Serious style points by Lucas Riley. Man, incredible balance. Look at this wheelbarrow, takes him up and over into the double stop. Might cough up his uh, crusty patty after that, and another close call. Well, he's, they're definitely serving up the crusty patty tonight. <laughs> that takedown into the double stomp just had him pinned to the dissection pan there, right in the middle of the ring, and not where you want to be with the crew where they can double team. But AJ Mana was wise to it, nullifies it. Mana wants to turn this into a brawl, James. I think that's what he does best. Got hung out to dry, though. Look at this. Sliding in. Oh, my goodness. Look at these two go into the German suplex. Beautifully done. And they take the Samoan shooter all the way to the outside. Oh, look at it. Look at Fidel Bravo. There is some fireworks in this that one. That sure is. They turned their back on Fidel Bravo. And Muy, he's capital. Well, Muy caliente. Hi. Oh, man, watch out here. There it is, that monkey flip into the power bomb. And that's going to do it. The Dutchman's curse. Here are your winners, the Krusty Crew. Let's take a look back at the action brought to you by Buckets of Red. You need an attachment for your backhoe or any of your heavy equipment. Give them a call at Buckets of Red. Their equipment will really help you get the job done. And tell you job done that Dutchman's curse that assisted powerbomb scores another victory for the group. Very impressive win over Fidel Bravo and AJ Mono. Can't wait to see more from the Crusty Crew. And we'll see more when we return to in-ring action coming up in the United Wrestling Network. No, for real though, man, I, that was a good one, bro. Yeah, man, I appreciate you, man. You you pushed me like I haven't been pushed in so long. I needed that match, bro. You reinvigorated something again <laughs> in, inside of PPA. <laughs> man, I'm a thesaurus sometimes. I hear that. It was good, man. Like, honestly, like, you brought the fight out of me for a long time, man. I looked up to you. You know, you was the guy when I walked into this building. Thank you were the guy that was carrying the Heritage Championship Thank on your back. You. Company on your back. You that guy. You back now. You looking good. Trying my best, man. I was that close, Dude. bro. That close. You was. You oh, was man. that close, you know. Yeah. Not close enough, but you was that yeah, close, you know. You know? I mean, you're Danny Lime, my bro. You know what I mean? You hey. are the champion for a reason. You are doing the damn thing all over the world. Thank you, It's Pete. impressive, bro. It really Pete. is impressive. I so. appreciate that, but I respect you because that match really taught me a lot in that ring. Thank you, bro. I always tell people when I look at the Mount Rushmore of United Wrestling, your face is right there next to Adam Pierce. I like that. Um, Standard, baby. I also like what you're doing with these little day one open challenges. Oh, yeah. That kid, Matt Vandergriff, man, he brought yeah. something out of you last Vandergriff week, too, man. Vandergriff is something else. He's incredible. Incredible yeah. guy, yeah. He really, really is, man. Yeah, man. Who? Day one open challenge. These new guys coming in and getting chances. I'm a, I'm a new guy. I'm Jordan Oasis. Where's my title shot? Where's my <laughs> open challenge? Uh, this guy for real? I, I, I guess, hey man, it took me 15 years to get a shot at that title. Nice try, kid. All right, Pete, I'll catch up See with you. Man. Maybe one day I'll answer that open challenge. Yeah, you know? one day. And you got a contract in your backpack that says you can just come over here and ask for championships or what? Haven't you been the champion for over 400 days? Yeah. You watch the show? That's, that's over a year. It is. And uh, So what you saying? 
You're a fighting champion? But <laughs> it's my first match and you want to defend it against me? What kind of champion is that? Listen, Big Bad Wolf, I know you're trying to blow the house down with the hands of your chin, 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 but um, it ain't, it ain't gonna happen like that. We don't just give out championship shots out here at United Wrestling. Oh, so you're a poser. You're a fake champion. Got fake. No, you know what, bro? How about this? How about you meet me in the main event tonight? And I'll put the United Wrestling Network World Championship oh, on the line. Hold on a second. Really whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. Let's do it. No, no. That sets an insane precedent. All right, you already have Tito and Slice breathing down your neck. I can't just, no offense to you, welcome to United Wrestling Network. I cannot give Jordan Oasis a title shot his first day here. That cannot happen. But Man, he's talking like he's ready. I understand that, and he might be. But here's the idea. Main event, Danny Limelight. Jordan Oasis non-title match. If you defeat Limelight, you're guaranteed an opportunity down the road. All right, I gotta go. I'm getting sick and tired of Joey butting in. I'll see you later, dog. Yeah, you will. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Yeah, can you believe this rookie? He tried to get a title shot. First match here. No, 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 I, absolutely not. Yeah, right? Hey, hey bro, hold on, let me, let me call you back. What's up, Papa? Hey, yo, Pete, you seen Slice Boogie? Slice, this guy? No, I've not seen Slice Boogie. I mean, not since this dude tried to jump in line and get a title shot before me. What's that goof's problem anyways, man? Can you believe that? I don't think so, man. Hey, hold on. Watch your tone when you talk about Slice. He might be causing a lot of problems, but he's still my brother. All right, I'm sorry. And I still need to talk to him. Let me know if you see him. All right, no problem. back in the United Wrestling Network. Obviously changing her look up a little bit. That's for the pink hair, but she said that being the pink dream really is about embodying that fierceness, that feminism. It's not just about the look, it's about embodying just that spirit. It's definitely a mindset, boy. Am I in a pink dream myself? And introducing her from Columbus, Ohio. a leg up when it comes to competing to become the first ever United Wrestling Network World, World Women's Champion. But these two are right there on the cusp. This matchup between Alex Gracia and J-Rod could have huge title implications down the line. And J-Rod already right off the bat just gonna show like implications. It's all about J-Rod. 
J-Rod, the ultimate athlete, real powerhouse, recently saw her in action. Another dominant victory by way of that ultimate spear. Just gets so much velocity and momentum. And, uh, but look at Alex Gracia wow. go into the cover. Gracia, great competitor. Gracia has uh, teamed at one point with Savannah Stone. It's been on the opposite end as well. Crucifix has it covered. Boy, this is the most trouble I think we've seen J-Rod in in the early going in quite some time. Well, that's about enough of that. Spoke too soon, Todd Kinley. J-Rod has other plans. Huge fallaway slam. With authority, just caught Gracia in midair and deposited her with that big fallaway slam. Just launching the peak dream. This might turn into a pink nightmare for Gracia. Well, we hear from Savannah Stone. You hear that? My stomach, it's grumbling. Hungry for opportunity. So when She-Hulk and Barbie Dream Girl get done playing Ring Around the Rosie, you know where to find me. The Unbreakable One. Savannah freaking Stone. Savannah Stone and J-Rod, what a war that could be. And when the ultimate athlete can slow the pace like this, keep it methodical, just punish her opponents as she's doing to Gracia, I mean, you're really fighting from underneath here against J-Rod, and that's an unenviable task, and not a whole lot you can do. So let me ask you this, as a former great in-ring competitor, champion of your own right, if you're Gracia, what do you do to better your odds and better your position here against the powerhouse? Don't give up. Don't give up and just hope that uh, J-Rod makes a mistake. Uh, look at this, though. Some extra push-ups there by J-Rod instead of really securing that cover. And I don't think Gracia, even though she is getting handled right now, I don't think you want to toy around with the pink dream. No, not at all. She definitely has a lot, a lot to offer here. And at the same time, even though she's getting rocked just a little bit, I think she has a lot more in the tank. That being said, though, the ultimate athlete, J-Rod, right now is making it look easy against one of the most prolific competitors in the women's division of years, of recent years in Gracia. I mean, a single shot changes that pendulum of momentum, James. One swing of the bat changes the game completely. Snake Eye City here. And down goes Gracia. Oh, goes upstairs for the boot. Thought she might have liked for that ultimate spear. If she had, this thing could have been over. But the boot could do it too. Here's the cover. Only accounted to. I wonder if J-Rod, like, how serious is she taking the pink dream? Hard to say because, you know, she thinks that she's that close, but I really, she needs to continue to attack because something like this might happen. The pink dream coming, coming right back. Gracia firing back with everything she's got. She's got a whole lot of heart. Now some momentum goes upstairs, Ooh. but look at the power. Oh, oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that. Down with the DDT, gotta capitalize, here we go! Look out! That Only a double leg hook, I mean, goodness, that was, a, that was probably the, the closest that she's gotten so far in this matchup. Here's what's important though, you see the nodding affirmatively there was Gracia, she's feeling it, she's got confidence, she's saying at this point, I can do this, I can take down this absolute monster of J-Rod, this pinnacle of athleticism. Maybe she she uh, thought of that one a little too long. Uh oh, look at this. Wow, oh, man, what a torture rack here. And nothing you can do right now if you're the pink dream, just getting taken for a ride. And now some squats, my goodness. That's just the deep, oh, wait a minute, what's going on here? Rossi out the back door. Rossi out the back door. Oh my goodness, whoa! What an upset. Here's your The first blemish on the record of J-Rod. Let's see how it all went down. J-Rod was incredibly dominant. You talk about buckets for rent. I, I tell you, we didn't know how cross he was gonna dig her way out of this, but in the end, counter, he got the one, two, three. Incredible, incredible. What an effort. Peak dream indeed. Dreams come true here in the United States.
United Wrestling Network. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Quick crack. Wash all you want. Don't drive dirty. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one call. Introducing first, weighing in at 350 pounds, the Irish juggernaut. Mikey O'Shea joined us in the broadcast position, but didn't really join us for the commentary. Action spoke louder than words. He used that uh, sparkling water as a uh, weapon, as a measure of revenge against one main event, Evan Daniels. Yeah, I think Mike O'Shea is not a big fan of sparkling water. I think he'd be a little bit more of a fan of that um, Irish beer. There you go. And introducing his opponent from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 170 pounds, highly recommended, Cameron Gates. Cameron Gates was uh, impressive in defeat recently, had an incredible matchup with EJ Sparks, came out on the losing end of things. We'll see if things uh, fare any better for him here. He's got a tough, tough challenger across from him in the Irish juggernaut, Mikey O'Shea. And as you remember from the old days, Mikey's gonna wreck it. Indeed he is. Now, personally being in the ring with him, back in the day when he was still just a young lad, I guess if you would say, and he was still tough then, and I know over the time, he has just continued to get better and better and tougher and tougher. And this is gonna be a losing proposition for Cam Gates and uh, Shrugging that off with relative ease is the Irish juggernaut. Try it, it's tough, tough proposition to get a rear waist lock and get around that, uh, well, let's just say, sizable midsection yes, of the uh, juggernaut. Yes, maybe bigger and bigger, I forgot to add that. Uh, definitely was not recommended for highly recommended Cameron Gates. O'Shea looking to follow up, see what the big guy's got in store. Nice agility there by Gates who transitions to striking and trying to keep the big man guessing. He's got him stumbling back, step or two. I don't, I don't know if Gates is gonna win in, let's say, a Donnybrook. Not at all. He'll have to pull out a shillelagh somehow and knock him <laughs> over the head with it. Oh man, oh, look at that. God. It's a rocky road to Dublin for one Cam Gates. I guess you could say O'Shea caught him there with, well, the element of surprise. I've heard that before. You know, we talk about the fact that you're back here in the booth, and uh, O'Shea, a real throwback to the early days of Unite Wrestling Network. It's great to see some familiar faces back, and look at the power by O'Shea. Release, vertical suplex, takes some pillar to post. Yeah, Mikey's not being paid by the hour by any minute. Yeah, time might be about up for Cam Gates. O'Shea, big full head of steam. Nobody home there catches that turnbuckle hard and heavy. 
The agility now by Gates. See if he can get something going. Using Mikey's own momentum against him, and that's great, great thinking. Outside, inside with the elbow. Unique strike there by Cam Gates. Look at this. Was able to get the big guy over, but kick out with authority by the juggernaut. So really, what's Cam Gates going to do at this I, point? I don't know. You know, that's the thing. I mean, Gates' offense is looking great here, but it's a whole nother thing. It's one thing getting O'Shea down. It's a whole nother thing keeping him there. Easier said than done. I think his hand hurts after that. You know, at one point you had legendary matches. I think a street fight of some sorts with Scrap Iron Adam Pierce in the early days of championship wrestling. O'Shea took on the Scrap Daddy inside the confines of a steel cage at one point. And if I recall, Mikey had a different outcome than I did in my match with a Scrap Iron. Broke my neck, broke his hand. But here it is, Mikey O'Shea, so many years later, still dominating. And really, maybe better than ever. And he's just, you know, it just his personality has come forward. The, he's got the, the crowd just loving everything that he does, whether it's in the ring or on TikTok. Just a whole lot of exuberance for the Irish juggernaut. That's the truth. That's the truth. I haven't quite gotten on that TikTok thing that people are talking about, but I hear that it's uh, exhilarating. Hey, you know, where's that little green hat? He pops up with a, what is that, water gun, I think, or maybe a Nerf gun, I don't know. But, you know, it's one lovable leprechaun, that's for sure. And Gates, though, now digging down deep. I, you got to love the, you know, the game mentality here at Gates. He's giving it everything he's got, but it might not be enough. Uh-oh. What was he trying there? Mikey has different plans. What a power bomb! Talk about kissing the Blarney Stone. He kissed the canvas. High elevation power bomb by O'Shea. His spine went through his chest, and Mikey's not done yet. It's not a matter of if Mikey's gonna wreck it. He just did. What a power bomb! Now look out here, taking aim. You know what that is? A gunslinger. There's the cover. O'Shea dominant. Here is your winner, Mikey O'Shea! O'Shea is rolling. Another big victory. And he might fancy himself a pint after that one. And well deserved. O'Shea, O'Shea, O'Shea. Mikey O'Shea on top here at the United Wrestling Network. O'Shea, 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 and Gates, I guess we'll live to see another day, but not going to get the win this time out. More action coming your way, including world champion Danny Limelight against Jordan Oasis. What a match that was made, non-title, but Oasis with a big opportunity to turn heads. That's still to come here in the United Wrestling Network. All right, Papa, you ready? You good? Yeah, I'm all right, man. Good. That's all you need to be. Ready and good, all right? I got my eyes out for Tito. I got my eyes out for Slice. You ain't got to worry about nothing but doing what we do best, and that's robbing that house, you dig? You sure I ain't got nothing to worry about? You ain't got nothing to worry about, Papa. I promise. Hey, I got you! How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call car shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through car shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is gonna break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through car shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Here's a great way to save money on your prescription medications. If you take Viagra or Cialis, we can give you a way to pay as little as $2 a pill. Compare that to prices as high as $60 per tablet. 
Call now with your prescription and pay as little as $2 a pill. We offer 24-7 service and always free delivery and confidential packaging. Call Pharmacy Shop 24-7 to get generic versions of Viagra or Cialis for as little as $2 a pill, plus free discreet shipping. Welcome everyone, I'm Jack Farmer and this is the United Wrestling News Desk. I want to take you back a couple of weeks ago where we witnessed quite the scene when Mikey O'Shea came out during Evan Daniels' match with EJ Sparks. Now, for those unaware, these two have been going at it as of late with Daniels crushing his can over Mikey's head in their first match and now Mikey spitting Daniels' fancy drink in his face to cost him the match with EJ Sparks. Wondering just how far this would go, we decided to catch up with Evan Daniels, who had these very choice words. Mikey, oh boy. You see, at first, when I met you, I wanted absolutely nothing to do with you. But now, both of these eyes are laser focused on you. See, you want to spit on my beautiful face? Now, I'm going to have to put you in your place. <laughs> it certainly appears we haven't seen the end of it between O'Shea and Daniels. Hopefully, that gets sorted before things get more out of hand. Speaking of hands, last week we saw Flex McCallion pull another fast one on Guy Cool by yet again using what clearly seems to be an illegally loaded glove. Guy Cool's problems were Jason Levels' gain, however, as Levels was able to get his first ever victory in the United Wrestling Network by pinning an unconscious Guy Cool. We reached out to Flex about what he's been up to, and he had this to say. I know you've seen me racking up the W's. I'm having a lot of fun introducing everyone to the tenderizer. You see, I'm gonna leave one word branded in everyone's brains, and that is BEEF! Flex McCallion, energetic as always, and looks to be even more energized by the success that glove has given him. But hey, you can't talk about success without talking about our new world television champion, the outlandish one, Zicky Dice. Fans seem happily surprised by both Zicky's huge victory and the manner in which he did it. Fair and square. It makes you wonder after what we've seen transpire these past few weeks and what we saw earlier in this program, have we really seen a new side of Zicky Dice? Well, let's hear it from the man himself. Would you look at that? You love to see it. Looks like things are really starting to shape up for good old outlandish Zicky Dice. It's funny what happens when you take control of your own destiny. Do I have your attention yet? Are you down with OZD? Outlandish. I'd say Zicky Dice not only has my attention, but the attention of the entire United Wrestling Network. That does it for us this week at the United Wrestling News Desk. I'm Jack Farmer. And now, let's head to the ring for our main event. The following contest is a non-title singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 242 pounds, the Global Nomad, Jordan Oasis. Jordan Oasis making his United Wrestling Network debut and looking to do it in grand fashion as he takes on the reigning world champion in Danny Limelight. The title not up for grabs. However, if Oasis gets the victory, he will earn a shot. What a spot to be in, especially on his very first match here at United Wrestling Network. What's he have in that bag? Well, he won't be taking home the title in it, but could get a big step closer in this huge main event. Come on! And introducing his opponent from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 190 pounds, he is the United World Champion, the Radioactive 
Poppy, Danny, Limelight! Danny Limelight has held that title for over 400 days, has defended it all over the globe, not putting it on the line this time, but has a chance to take a potential world title challenger and knock him down a few runs to the ladder if he can dispose of Jordan Oasis here in Oasis's debut. I think Danny Limelight, being a world champion, a true world champion, has no doubt in his mind that he's going to definitely take him to town. We recently saw Danny Limelight get the victory over the day one player. PPA, Peter Avalon, what a title matchup that was. But this is a whole different style of competitor. You look at Oasis. Now he was, he first cut his teeth in this sport in the art of Lucha Libre, but he's a big, powerful, sizable opponent here. So a different style that Danny's gonna have to deal with and might help set him up to take on the likes of Bad Dude Tito and his own uh, stable mate in Slice Boogie. Definitely the odds have been against uh, Danny Limelight for sure, but he is definitely one of the most dominant competitors, fighting champions that I've ever seen. Incredible defenses against the likes of the Mad King, Eddie Kingston out in Arizona. Look, oh man, like he had eyes in the back of the head, the champion there. Takes Oasis out to the outside. Defenses against the likes of, uh, you know, a competitive rival, Clark Connors. Former champion Jordan Clearwater Moore. Oh man, this is trouble here. This is trouble. Oh no! Oh, oh no! The champion hits the barricade. We gotta take a break. And the champion just got broken in half. How'd it happen? She showed up dead on arrival. This never gets easier. It does when you call Car Shield before your car breaks down. Look at these prices. The camshaft, transmission, engine. Don't people know? A plan through Car Shield could protect up to 5,000 parts and systems. You hate to see it. An out of warranty car is going to break down eventually. Right, which is why they need a plan through Car Shield. Those expensive repair bills get paid and at the mechanic of their choice. They're notifying the family. Poor guy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Another victim of senselessly expensive repair bills. Can't save them all. But we can keep trying. Mm. Didn't have to end this way. If he'd have just called Car Shield before his car broke down. <sighs> exactly. Protect yourself from the unprecedented rise in cost for parts and repairs. Call now to save money with your price lock guarantee. Call Car Shield now. Call 800-465-6312. Welcome back, everyone. The United World Champion, Danny Limelight, just now starts to stir. And I'll tell you, the count is on. And if Oasis wins by count out, he'll earn a title shot. He can just sit back. I don't think, I don't think that the radioactive poppy can get back in the ring. I mean, that was devastating stuff, James. Devastating. You can tell his shoulder, his ribs, his back. He barely made it into the ring after the, before the 10 count. Unbelievable. That power bomb from the apron to the outside to the barricade, it looked like, it looked like an absolute car wreck. I thought he was broken in half. You gotta credit the heart, the tenacity of the champion to get back in there. But what is left at this point? And with big title defenses coming up, I mean, he's got a date with Destiny with the likes of Bad Dude Tito, Slice Boogie. Is this wise to even get back in there after after taking a shot like that? That's a really good point, Todd Kenley, because at the end of the day, no matter what, he still walks out as the champion, but at what cost? And now into the cover, Oasis with a huge opportunity. This main event matchup has been anything but an Oasis for the champion. It's a, that's a mirage. He finds himself in the middle of a desert, and he's in serious heat. He's looking for the water, he's looking for ice, he's looking for band-aids. He needs to be able to put those bones back together because definitely something has shifted after that power bomb to the outside. His entire body got rattled. And man, how aggressive is Jordan Oasis in his United debut. Look out here, that big cannonball calls that the heat seeker. He's bringing the heat, serious heat to the champion. Here's the cover, almost put him away. I've never seen something like that before. 
And I, and I would have to say that neither has Danny Limelight. And let's talk about the training of this guy, okay? Jordan Oasis, he, you know, he competed in Mexico. He, he, you know, trained under Buddy Wayne. He trained under Hall of Famer Rikishi for a while. He's got martial artists with a, a jiu-jitsu and taekwondo background. This guy is like one big, oh, he's looking for the Haddonfield hook. But able to avoid it there was the champion. Full hit is still. Oh! Standish, standing Spanish fly, James. Incredible. Oh my God. Where the hell did that come from? I'll tell you one thing about Danny Limelight. He's got double O, and that is Oro and Orgullo, gold and pride. And we're seeing why he's been such a great champion. And he's showing that pride here. I didn't realize how cultured you were, Todd Kenley, but. Look at him, Danny Limelight. Incredible after everything that he just endured. Why, well, you know, the late great Gorilla Monsoon often said it, adrenaline can do wonders. But you can see here that that body is riddled with pain. I mean, his entire body just shuddered when he hit that barricade to the outside, but he's finding a way to dig down deep. That's what's made him such a great. He's been the flag bearer of the United Wrestling Network now for over a year. Look out! Oasis to the outside. Scene of the crime of where Danny Limelight was once power bombed. Uh-oh. Air Puppy connects. And now it's Oasis that tastes the steel on the outside. Again and again, Danny Limelight, he's had enough. What a matchup, a matchup we did, we had no idea we were gonna encounter here. When we uh, kicked off this program, Danny Limelight perched. Wow, what a frog splash. Here's the cover. I don't know. I thought it was over, Todd Kenley. Limelight's taken on a lot of the greats. At one point, took on none other than Chavo Guerrero, and there we saw a big frog splash, fitting to the Guerrero wrestling family but Oasis continues to fight on here. This guy is tough. This is what makes United Wrestling Network so great is that you'd never know who's gonna walk through those curtains. And here today with Jordan Oasis, I'd be apt to say he might be a contender. Well, man, look out here. Oh, big backbreaker again. He's looking, oh, he's looking for that combo breaker into the Falcon Arrow, hits it, the backbreaker, step one. Falcon Arrow, cover, here we go. Earned a date with Destiny and a proper title shot at Limelight, but no, sir, not yet. Todd Kenley, I think if he was able to hook the leg, which he was desperately trying to, I think that he may have pulled off an upset win. So many weapons in the arsenal of Jordan Oasis. We saw the heat seeker, that cannonball earlier, now the combo breaker, and he is decimating physically the world champion. I mean, can you think of a more impressive way to make your debut? Uh-oh. Oh, I think he just uh, he made a big mistake. Poppy isn't gonna like that. You don't step into Limelight's house and disrespect him. And we got ourselves a war here in our main event. Man, what a shot. Oh, Oasis is stumbling. Get your cameras ready. He might be going down. Uh oh Todd is back. <laughs> Normally, he'd hit that no problem. Yeah, I was looking for the symbiote DDT, but the power, a factor again by Oasis standing switch. Oh, my! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> what a lariat! Big shot by Big Poppy. Like a home run slugger there. And Limelight, the champ, gets him up. Uh-oh. Going for a ride, a little airplane spin. Oh, and he is in pain, but look at him. Wow, oh, man, my. how close was that? After that airplane spin, took him on a one, it was a one-way trip straight to the canvas. But the layover, not for three seconds. Missed it by that much. And Danny Limelight. He felt it. He felt it. He's feeling it in his back. He's feeling it in his lungs. He's feeling it in his ribs. You know who's loving this? Who's that? Talking Oasis to if he gets the win, but also Bad Dude Tito. Very good point. Slice Boogie. Other guys that have the target on Danny Limelight because 
what's going to be left of, of Limelight. This match that isn't even for the world title is taking a whole lot out of the champion. Trying to take the oxygen out of uh, Jordan Oasis. But we saw earlier, you know, the champ went for that symbiote DDT, couldn't do it. And Limelight is still in a lot of, oh my goodness, wow. High elevation and in a heap again, here's the cover. How close has Oasis come time and time again? I'll tell you, man, Limelight is gonna have trouble getting out of bed in the morning. Let low breathing right now. His body is getting ravaged, getting destroyed. The crowd's trying to get uh, the champion back into it. Need any help that he can get. He's looking for that Haddonfield hook again. Out the, oh, looking for the oh, hey! Here it is. It's in. It's in deep. Maurice Sonyando. Maurice Sonyando. Wait, who is this? Todd Kenley. What in the world is he doing here? And now, well, what did pop up cutter to Oasis? I Former. And I repeat, former television champion Jack Banning coming in here and ruining what was the makings of a modern day classic, James. This guy is, this guy is out of his mind. We heard in that, in, you know, when he ran into Limelight, he said, I held my title for over a year too. Now he lost that television title. He's got his eyes on another one, that guillotine in, and here comes Papoesco for the save. Look at Jack Banning, just that look on his face. He's like the maniacal laugh. Well, he loves to play the mind games, but man, this was physical as well. Papo Esco coming out here, and, and Danny Limelight. There's some fire. There has been some serious dissension in the ranks. You know, we saw when these two were talking earlier, Papo said, no, it's not cool. It's not all cool. Let's go! Danny Limelight now, I think, just realizes what's going on. I th and now Banning, look at this, slink into the back. I'll tell you what, I think Limelight, I think Limelight got more than he bargained for here out of Oasis, then of course Banning, and I think the walls of that bodega are, are, are crumbling, the bodega. Scott Johnson has ruled that this match is a no contest. Bodega might be going out of business the way things are going, James. Definitely a rocky foundation. They have to get it together. Because there's more and more threats. And I'll tell you, Oasis poses a big threat. And he didn't lose this match. He didn't win it, but it was ruled a no contest. And the walls are closing in for the champion, Danny Limelight. It's true. Oasis definitely made a statement here in his very first outing against the champion, Danny Limelight, who's just... He's held that title over 400 years. How much time does Limelight have left? 